yes, one cannot be ashy. <laughs> one cannot be ashy out here in these YouTube streets because they will call me out. Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? <laughs> How are we? I am smiling and waving to you from London. For those of you that don't know that I live in England, I live in England. I've been out here for the past 10 years. My name is Fumi Desaluvold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you are so very welcome indeed, my darlings. How are you all? I had to take a break. I needed to exercise. I needed to have my salads. I needed to hang out with my friends, family, and do other things. So I had to take a break from Kate Gate, from Renter Kate, because I've been reading your comments. Hilarious when I tell you I loved and I lived all of them. We have two camps right up in here. Here. We have Sussex Squad and then we also have the camp of Kate and Wills. Before I continue, are we living and loving the fit? Are we living and loving the beat? I go by and only Juvia's Place and Colored Rain. They are my girls. They are the ones that keep me beat and looking fabulous. Discount code what? Discount code for me. This is an old, 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 old Chanel belt that I have had for years. And I just wrap it up as a necklace every once in a while to give some kind of drama. The dress is an old Zara dress. Let me just get up and show you. <laughs> Can you imagine me in an office? Yes, I was there. It didn't pull on anything. It was very corporate kind of. And from there I could go for lunch. I could go for dinner. It was smart. So this is what I'm wearing and I've got like my Max and Spencer bra and I know it's kind of showing because it's a bit of a deep V and we're kind of talking about a kind of serious topic ish ish. So my last uh, conversation about Katie Poole the other day was that it wasn't Katie Poole because Katie Poole and Prince William were seen at the Royal Farm. Now I'm an actor and I have been out there in the Hollywood streets where you use prosthetics, where you use all kinds of camouflage, different skin color, wigs, lashes, eye color, all kinds. I can spot a body double from a mile away with one eye. Stevie Wonder can do it because we're in the business. Whoever these people are that brought about the fake kit and the fake wills, have never known what it is to be at the theater. They should go to the theater, honestly, and see what goes on out there. Anyway, I said, and I stood 10 toes deep. I said, this is not Kate and Wills. This was not Kate, this was not Wills, as far as I was concerned. In the comment section, it went wild. How do you know? Leave Kate alone, this, that, and the other. I said, I'm sorry. I believe in what I am seeing. And I called it for what it is because, as we already know, this shopping list of here, there, everywhere. We're seeing her in the car with Wills. We're seeing her with her mom. She's coming out with a Mother's Day picture. Apparently, there are other pictures that have been doctored. There was a picture with the Queen and her grandchildren. Apparently, there's something swimming in the water that made me feel really bad about that because apparently that picture was deliberate because Meghan and Harry's children were not there and they wanted to magnify the absence. That hurt my heart right there needless to say i don't care i'm in england i'm british i like my life here i don't really want to bother with the royals because they get so much attention and that was the issue again because as far as i am concerned kate take the year off my god you deserve it and it's not because of this case it's because of other issues whatever take the year off i don't care it had nothing to do with you for me. It was when the inconsistencies of the cloak and the daggers and the Columbo and the hiding, that was what drew my attention to say. And that's how I kept quiet because that's what happens when I'm thinking. I keep quiet. Because you know, and I have to be fair, when Harry and Meghan said a lot, I kept it as so. I had to be unbiased. Because when we tell stories, right, wrong, indifferent, there's always her side, his side, and the truth. I heard what Megan had to say. I heard what Harry had to say. We never heard from the other side. 
So I couldn't really have a balancing act because I knew somewhere in the middle is the truth because we are not mind readers. And so I can misinterpret whatever you say and do and take it to be A, B, and C. That's why me personally, I'm not a text person because texting loses its tone. 99% if you know me, even on WhatsApp, I'll leave you a voice note. I even do it for you guys in my DMs. I leave a voice note because I can write, honey, I'm busy right now, give me five minutes. As opposed to me texting, I'm busy right now, give me five minutes. And then I don't come back in five minutes, you will think, oh, she was just trying to get rid of me. Whereas I'm a mom, I got derailed, this, that, and the other. I'm trying to put out other fires. I digress. TMZ that released the news, they have now come back to renege on that. And they are saying, I'm not too sure. I don't think that it is Kate. Shoot, I don't think it's Wales. When I tell you I was smiling from ear to ear, it made me laugh. The last episode, I had Pierce Morgan and it was deliberate. A lot of you said for me, why do you have Pierce there? You know, I can't take it. Darling, we have to learn to be very calm and to have some kind of control when we are around people that we dislike. It happens to me all the time and I work with them very, very well because it's mind over matter, because I'm trying to get something out of you. So if I have to put up with you, I will, because the end goal is going to benefit me. Yep, I'm calculating like that. So I put peers there because Harvey from TMZ was there. Because here in London, where I live, we are fed all of this information about how Harry and Meghan are so unpopular, about how Harry and Meghan are at the bottom of the barrel, at how Harry and Meghan, they're not doing very well in the States, about Harry and Meghan, they are this, that, and the third. Yes, we do. The thing is that I am British and I'm also an American. I lived there for 20 years before I married a European and came out here in these English streets, of which I don't mind. But I know what happens out in the States. I don't say anything because would they listen to me? No, they won't listen to me. What happened was Harvey didn't back down. And where Pierce was saying, they were not very popular in England. Harvey said, well, that's the opposite in America. Very opposite. Their polls are going up and up higher and higher you forget megan's american you forget she's in her neck of the woods you forget america's much 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 bigger than england you forget she was here for two years and she left she said you know what i know where i come from and harry said i got to go and he went it was deliberate because i got other people to say what i wanted to say in essence and this same Harvey found themselves in a situation so much so that it was the number two, number two of TMZ who came out and said, before I was 95% sure that it was Kate. Well, first and foremost, how can you think it's 95% sure when you don't see this woman every day? And men don't pay attention like that. They don't pay attention to women like that. They don't. They do not. So even if you put it out there, of which Harvey sat there and said, yes, it's her. Yes, look at them. They're out here. You don't even know what she looks like. You don't even know what she wears on a regular basis. You have no idea. And so we have here, let me just get his name, where everybody's sensitive. I want to make sure that I dot my I's and I cross my T's. So, Charles... Latibudieri, maybe I've butchered up the name, but it's Charles. You will hear it and I will put the link right here for you to listen. And um, I'll meet you on the other side. How about that? <laughs> TMZ's Charles Latibudier joins us now live. Good morning, Charles. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. I guess better than Kate Middleton, yeah. you would say? Well, I'm feeling a little bit better now that we've seen a spotting of her, right. at least, or so they say. Yeah, or and I believe we? it's her, or Charles. What do you believe? You believe, believe it's her? Yeah, I do. Uh, I have gone back and forth uh, three different times. I've looked at this video so often, and um, yeah, I, I, my gut is, my gut was, it was her. But then I started looking at some of the comments and things that people are posting about why they don't think it's her. 
And they have some points about her height, about、mm. her height compared to William, where、uh, her eye line is when she's looking at him normally,、um, some things about her chin. There are a lot of different details that people have picked out, even in the way she, this woman walks. Now I'm not, before I was, I would say I was 95%. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's her. And it certainly looks like William.、Um, But even the Williams, some people are picking apart that maybe it's not him. I, it, 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 there is endless mystery behind this thing. And the bigger question is if it's not her, then again, we're left with where is Kate、um, and what is going on with her? So, and why would the palace be involved if they are in another sort of hoax? To make us think that Kate is okay. Because the, the Mother's Day photo was such a blunder. Why would they do it again? Oh, yeah, I don't Which know. Which is what made me think at first it was her. Because there's like, there's no way they do that again. They got caught the first time, they wouldn't do it again. I feel like But, every woman in London and in England are lining up to be a Kate Middleton stunt <laughs> double or something like that. Hand model, everything. I mean, what do you think needs to happen at this point, Charles? I mean, do they need to hold a news conference? What's、yeah. needed? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but it's sort of like we need proof of life. I mean, that's what people have been saying for weeks is why doesn't Kate just do,、uh, you know, a, a video? It doesn't have to be alive, but, it, but if there were a video like at the palace of her saying, I'm okay, I'm in recovery, thank you for your concern, or, you know, I don't want to say holding up a newspaper so, so we know the date, but,、um, but I have heard people say that, that they just want. Some proof that she is okay. Yeah. And I don't, but I think the, the point is the palace doesn't feel like they have to do that. They,、uh, and I've heard this from a lot of over the years,、uh, royal watchers, royal experts say that, you know, the palace really feels they're above all of that.、Mm. And they don't have to bow to public pressure. They do something when they feel like it's necessary. And obviously, up to this point, they do not feel like it's necessary. You see, the sun, the sun is in Williams' pockets as the Daily Mail is in Camilla's purse, so to speak. And so they favor those two camps. And I believe, I believe that the sun rouged this together, that they got this photographer that works for Lego. What is his name? I have it here. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ba, 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 ba. Nelson Silva, who works for Lego, to say that he was the one that saw this couple at the royal farm. Well, Nelson Silva has come out now and said, Weirdest disclaimer I've ever had to make to all journalists on LinkedIn I am not Nelson Silva who shot a video of, of Princess Kate. You know why? Because I believe. That, like all businesses, there are affiliates, and so that is their go to. Sun reached out to TMZ and said, We need you to air this out there in America. Because you see, the stories, as much as you say, We don't want to hear it, we don't care, is the number one throughout the world. What is going on? So they go to a garden centre, and a member of the public, one member of the public in the whole garden centre, takes. A pic takes some footage of them from his car. He doesn't even get out of his car. And then a newspaper gets hold of it and they publish it. And, and we're all supposed to go, oh, thank goodness for that. She's fine. And this is basically British broadcasting now for the last three weeks. It's just a bunch of people sitting around looking at photographs going, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Do you know what's going on? I don't know what's going on. Do you know what's going on? I don't know what's going on. And here's our royal expert who also doesn't know what's going on, but will say some words. That sound vaguely plausible. Hello, I'm the royal expert. What do you have to understand is that she's a young mother and has、uh, she, children and children and arms. She also has arms and legs and hair. And therefore, we must all be most mindful at this time of her privacy. And also, I think she should come out of privacy and tell us all that she's okay. We're not fixated about Kate, it's you guys and the wider media. You need to talk to yourselves. Who cares? Stephen Devon, just leave Kate alone. Let her recover. She's entitled to privacy. More pressing things going on in the world to worry about. 
Susan in Kent. The media and the press make this fireworks. They keep going on and on about it. No one cares. Well, OK. I mean, I take that on board. But tell that to the editors of The Sun, The Mirror, The Mail, The Times, The Express. Um, let's now move overseas. Das Bild, which is the biggest selling German newspaper. It's page one. Paris Match, it's page one in France. And I haven't even taken you to the United States yet. This story with Kate is the number one. You cannot imagine how many messages I've gotten. Kate, 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 Kate. I refused to do it yesterday. My mental health. I need to think and do other things. Because you know what? I don't care if Kate never comes out. I do not. I posted it the other day. I said, Kate, I wish you all the best. And I hope you're okay. Because she deserves her peace of mind and rest. But her PR people, her camp, have done a shoddy job for whatever reason. I don't know what is it that they're hiding because something panicked them, because something triggered them, that they had to go out and put a Mother's Day. That was a dump. Everything was a whole mess to the point because it wasn't anybody else but the press agencies who said we cannot touch this. Again, I've said it in the history of Getty Images, for Getty Images to forego hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds or dollars because the picture was not legit. And so what happened? It drew attention now to what else has been altered, doctored, what kind of apps have they been using up in there came to find out that wasn't the only picture for me it's not the pictures you can alter the pictures because they are to project this perfect family the royal family that earns billions of dollars from its people that they've got land that they've got all of these things they depend this family royal family depend on its people for their livelihood they've got to be perfect because that is what is expected of them i don't even mind that the thing was that american megan came out here in these streets and she said i'm not understanding bless her heart i'm not understanding and took off and everybody called her a liar. I didn't. Because Diana was before her. It just magnifies the things that Harry and Meghan said. That if they are capable of doing this, then I cannot put it past them of what they've been accused of before, of which we could not even fathom. TMZ, I'll tell you a little story. Listen to the story. I got married in 2009, and I remember the morning when Farah Fawcett passed away. I was washing my dishes in the kitchen. My back was to the television. TMZ announced that Michael Jackson had passed away. And a tear came down my cheeks because I knew it was true. Even though CNN had not announced it, I knew TMZ was telling the truth because that's how sharp they are. They've always been. This has been a mistake in judgment because of a friendship they thought they had. But in actual fact, they were taken as the fall guy. By the time they find out, it would be too late because they don't know these folks out here across the pond. To the point, Kimmy Cakes. <laughs> Kim Kardashian said she's coming out here to come and look for Kate. To the point, Blake Lively, who used to be on Gossip Girl. <laughs> the irony. On Gossip Girl. Darling, you know what? When you come back on the show, do an episode, said, where is Kate? It made a mockery, a mockery of the entire monarchy. I understand why the queen said she will not renege. She will not hand over the throne. She will not hand over the throne because my family is inept. Because they are not capable because they don't listen, because they do not know the real world. Neither do I, but they're more so. And that is what is happening. And that is what is becoming apparent. I am gloating. Yes, I am. Because I said that it wasn't Kate. For TMZ to come out, to the point, Harvey didn't even come out. Harvey is so nauseous. He's so sick that the salads that I've been sending to him, he said, for me, I can't eat. <laughs> All right, darling. For 290 calories, guess what? You get a beautiful chicken salad with avocado and, and hot sauce. 
I cannot wait to dig in. This is my main source, guys. <laughs> because he said for me, you're looking fabulous out here in England. <laughs> is it the food? <laughs> I said, oh, yes. You know, the English, they have all kinds of little treats out here. And I said, yes. I said, Harvey, I'll send you something over at TMZ. He said, okay. He couldn't even eat it. He's so nauseous that he was fed a lie. Think about it, guys. Think about it. Let's really, truly and be honest. If she's that healthy to walk by at the speed that she was going, I had to look at the child's feet because I was like, is she on roller skates? and you're slim, you're carrying a bag, you're smiling, you could not stop and say, guys, I'm okay. It's not the kit. It's that they are trying to hide kit. It's that they're trying to make up an excuse for kit because kit is not cooperating. Because Kate now is negotiating, oh, she's making some kind of generational wealth for her sister, for her brother, for her mama and papa. Oh, she's negotiating and she's making it sure that it is airtight. You want me? All right. Then you're going to have to respect me and you're going to have to pay some kind of coin. And I said, you know what? Go right ahead, Kate. Do you. But that's the irony of it all. Because I don't care for the lies. I don't care for the lies. Harry said it. He said they are prepared to lie for William and Kate. And in turn, they're not even prepared to tell the truth about myself and my wife, my beautiful wife, Megan. They're not prepared to tell the truth. That kind of sort of hurts. I can see where it goes. But you see this father up above, the orchestra and the designer of us all. Until you become God-fearing, really and truly, you will not understand the wrath of what he can do. And you think you can get away with it. He will expose you in such a way. He will expose you in such a way that you cannot even find any author to have written it the way that they have done it in such beautiful poetry. Megan and Harry ain't here. They're not here as much as my darling Piers, poor baby. Piers, should I send you some salads? <laughs> Get rid of the constipation because the way you talk about Megan is something else. If I was your wife, I would have been left you because the passion of which you speak about her is got to be love. It looks like hate, but it's love. You love that girl, you would have left your wife if Megan had said yes to you. When you jumped and ran into the pub, a whole pierce, a whole pierce. You went to go and see Megan. You saw the vision of love. You have never seen a woman as beautiful as Megan in your eyes. Truly and truly, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. She caught your breath and you've not been able to breathe ever since. You never heard from her again. And you have tried so much to get her attention, but she took the hand of a prince and that love instant love that you have for her has turned to hatred you want her to be blamed for everything but no papa no 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 <laughs> i'm living and loving you can't you can't blame her pierce you can't because once upon a time you were on celebrity apprentice and amorosa and i stood up for you I don't know whether you've forgotten, we met. Yes, 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 at Marble Arch. I don't know where the picture is. If I find it, I'll put it up for you guys. And I thought you were a wonderful guy. And I do think that you are, you, that you are a wonderful storyteller and reporter. I will give you that credit. But ever since Megan, you have been blinded by the obsession of her that you cannot even see past her. You've lost your job. You're here on YouTube, six, seven years over, and she still burns a fire inside of you that keeps you awake at night. I know the feeling, baby. I have to pray for you, Piers, because that is a burden on you I don't wish on anybody. I already know that sometimes your wife might not have told you, you just shout out, Megan! <laughs> Already you know. <laughs> you shout out her name at night in your deep sleep. Then, then you wake up. It's not normal. It's not normal to have such a hatred for another human being, from a man to a woman, because she never spoke to you again. And I believe that those were the orders 
that she was given, that she was authorized. Because you see, I like to play fair. I'm big auntie over here. I'm 54, going to be 55 in three weeks. Harry and William's mother passed away under horrible circumstances. Horrible circumstances. And Harry got to see the pictures. That in itself takes you, and I don't drink, that would take me a whole bottle of wine. And that's the, and that's the most I can do. Upon the visuals, he was distracted by the reflection on the cars. That the press were there, taking pictures of the car. And nobody helped this woman. I wonder what her last minutes were. I have a son. And I say to myself, for the first time, really, if only I can live forever with him, I say it. Who can take better care of him than I? I want to see him married with his children, happy, every and any mother. And Pierce, you have children. And the way that you have spoken about this young woman is deplorable. You have to let go and let God, unless it's something that we don't know about. I was here, I grew up, I, I watched the wedding of Diana and Charles. I remember when Harry was born. I remember when William was born. I remember when they went to school. I remember it all. It's a completely different generation, but I remember it all. And it's shocking to see how it's all come and fallen apart. I am British and I'm proud. I'm American and I'm proud. I'm African and I'm proud. I'm so many things and I'm proud. And I want us to stand for what is right. For what is right. And for what is the right thing to do. Because you have to humanize certain circumstances and say, this might be the right thing but this is the right thing to do. So I'm not going to talk about that. I'm gonna let somebody else do that if they want to. Because I have to have principle ethics and I have a conscience and I also have my own that I love, that I'm hopelessly in love with. Would I want somebody to talk about them like that? No. Guys, do not forget to like and to subscribe to hit the notification button, my darlings. And um, I will see you sooner than later. It was a bit emotional and I didn't intend for it to be so, but um, here we are.